Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bold Metal Nerd coming at you with a video. And I thought a amusing title for this video would be King of the Mole Hill. Uh, or, you know, what's my best pair of earbuds or whatever you want to call them. I'm basically comparing two of them. Um, one of them are just the stock Apple earpods. Yeah, I finally found them, <laughs> right? They came with my iPod Nano, which of course was uh, also the device I used to test these uh, devices, or I'm sorry, these headphones with. So we got the ear pods, and then the other thing we got is actually a pair of Puma head or earbuds that I got for free from Viggle a while ago. They come in this cool little uh, draw pouch thing, and there's the headphones themselves. They also come with, what do they come with here? different earpieces, right? Now, supposedly, which is nice that they come with some extra, you know, extras, um, what is supposedly the main thrust of these Puma ones is they're supposed to stay in uh, even during intense workouts. That's one of their main selling points. Well, that just is patently false. Um, these do not stay in my ear all that well when I'm moving around. If I'm sitting still, they stay in fine, but if I'm up and moving around, these things will pop out of my ears fairly regularly. I have to, you know, re reinsert them, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, but anyway, I'll just give you a quick look at them here. So, we got the, they're the flat style cord. We got the uh, phone control button thing there, whatever. Moving on, it's just more of the flat, and, you know, that's basically it. Then we got the you know plug in for the ear for the headphones, and that is basically it. The retail on these is about fifteen bucks or so. I think they were originally thirty when they came out, thirty or forty. They've you know dropped in price. Uh, and of course, here are the Apple earpods, which you know Apple claims are ridiculously great. <laughs> I'll get to sound quality here in a second. Um, they're decent, you know, uh, they're about the same as the Pumas as far as staying in your ears. They'll definitely pop out of your ears as well if you move around a lot. Um, you know, uh, they're hard instead of soft as far as the actual, they don't, ha oh, they also, since these are the version that came with the uh, iPod, they don't have any integrated controls, which I really don't care, honestly. Um, but yeah, these are it, obviously, got they're hard. Not much to say, whereas these, show you the close up here of the um, of the units that go in the ear. These are soft, and these actually appear to have larger drivers and all that than the ear pods. So the question is sound quality. Uh, how are they? Well, not so great. Um, these, when you pop them in your ears, they sound like. Maybe a low quality FM radio station listening to 320 kilobits MP3s, right? So, yeah, basically they make everything kind of sound like a 96 kilobit AAC or, you know, or about 100 kilobit MP3. They're not, they're, they're not that great. The, the highs are totally washed out. The bass is surprisingly decent on them. The mids are kind of washed out, but yeah, I mean, the sound quality on these thumbs down in far as my opinion. Now, the Apple ones are a little bit of a step up. Instead of sounding like low quality FM, they actually sound like high quality FM. Uh, guitars sound, I mean, guitars on the Puma sound like crap. On these Apples, they're just mediocre. So, you know, it, it's, and the bass is, like I said, surprisingly good on these. Um, but yeah, it's just, Sound quality with these is not good either. Um, you know, it's it's it. All of my full sized headphones beat the absolute crap out of both of these as far as sound quality goes. The sound quality on these is both is you know in the thumbs down department. And honestly, I don't even really think these kind of qualify as good enough audio. The fidelity is is fairly poor. These make these makes everything sound like 128 kilobits.
MP3. So you know, don't buy, if you're gonna if you're gonna use these types of headphones, guys. Basically, what I'm saying is. Don't worry about the quality of your audio, or I'm sorry, your source files, because these are not going to be able to reproduce any high quality audio. They just can't. It's beyond their capabilities. Um, that, and personally, I'm not a huge fan of this type of headphone. I find them more uncomfortable than, like, my favorite type of headphones by far are over ear headphones. They're the most comfortable, whereas I find these to be kind of the most uncomfortable types of headphones. Um,. I mean that you know they're not terrible, but they're certainly not. Uh, they're they're not they're not my favorite as far as comfort goes. Now I do know that there are high quality in ear headphones that exist. Um, I heard there are some mono price ones that are supposedly you know cheap and really good. But again, I'm not a huge fan of this type of headphones, and I'm not willing to you know drop spend money just to find out. But anyway, if you guys know of any high quality in-ear headphones that are affordable let me know in the comments below just for fun let me know generally what you think of in-ear headphones uh, earbuds whatever you want to call them again I'm not a fan of them uh, you know anyway uh, that's basically gonna wrap this up as always if you did enjoy what you see please thumbs up share subscribe all that fun stuff thanks for watching I'll catch you guys next time